Howdy everyone, Lordy here with Lord's Lair, your source of out of this world gaming interviews. Today, I am back again with a brand spanking new figure. And I am pretty excited about this one, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are too. It is the Green Goblin from the Spider-Man No Way Home movie. So, spoiler alert, if you've already clicked on this video, you already know anyway, so I'm just going to say it, Green Goblin is back. So this is what he looks like in the movie. Let's get down to some box art. I'm gonna give you a UPC so you guys can find this at your targets. And as of the time of me recording this video, it is available on target.com right now. So go check that if you guys want this. So without further ado, here's the box. As you can see, he does come with this glider. He does come with or the pumpkin bomb. He looks pretty cool there. So on the side, you just get some extra box art of him, him on his glider and then a full figure view there and on the back you kind of see some of the alternate accessories he comes with he's got some goggles on on the front you saw on the hood and then there's that unmasked head and you also get a masked head and the pumpkin bomb that i mentioned you also get his glider and a stand for his glider and here's a upc on this product if you guys would like to try your luck and finding this in the wild it is five zero one zero nine nine six one nine zero two nine one and without further ado let's just crack this bad boy open and see what it's about all right guys gonna give you a full rotation on this figure as you can see from the get-go this figure is chock full of detail i mean right down to the like the glider you can see his blades on the front that he was impaled in in spider-man way uh, 10 years ago or however long it was it was probably a little bit longer and then right on the back there you can even see his thrusters with the green paint inside and the 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 wings itself actually like go up and down so you can articulate it how you'd like and then as i mentioned before he's got the stand there going up his leg tons of detail on the belt and on his arm here have the extra satchel pouches for ammunition and it's actually got the other extra satchel patch on this side and he also has his blades just like in the movie and then the pumpkin bomb in his hand there and as i mentioned before this hood cloak and goggles are all removable so let's get him off the glider here and show you guys some articulation all right got green goblin on the turntable here went ahead and put the alternate head on him so you guys can see how that looks all the way around the uh, cloak was kind of hard to get off, I do have to say. Had to put his arm all the way up to get that to slide off. The alternate hood there, just so you can see how that's shaped. Then the alternate head with the goggles on. And with the goggles off. Actually is a pretty great looking head sculpt of William Defoe. So with the art articulation on this figure, honestly I have some issues with it. So on the bottom, of course he has the ankle pivot, pretty good range of motion on that. My issue is there's no calf swivel and that makes it really hard to pose on the glider because you can't swivel that to, you know, make his legs kind of uh, go at different angles. So my joint is really tough here at the knee. I'm gonna try to go ahead and get that for you guys so you can see the, the movement. I may have to do a hot water bath on this because it is not wanting to budge. I definitely don't wanna break it. So I'll just show you on the other leg. It's a range of motion on the double jointed knee. And then he does have the thigh swivel. And then at the torso, he doesn't have a swivel at the waist, but at the torso he does have a rocker. And then with the arms, double jointed elbows, of course, that is actually really tight as well on here. So I'm definitely gonna have to use a hot water bath on this figure, but you can see double jointed elbows on that other side, pretty good range of motion. And then on this head, that is all the way up. Go ahead and pop that other head back on so you can see the all the way up and all the way down on it. All the way up. All the way down. So not a huge range of motion. And I think that's a lot to do with this new style neck peg. 
that they did on some of the newer figures, and it is also on this figure. Not a huge fan of that neck peg. Alrighty guys, that has it for the Green Goblin. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please leave me a like and follow on my page. I'm gonna try my best to get back to this more and more as I get moved into this new house. As you can see behind me, it's just an absolute wreck. But I'll get that together. Maybe a new room tour will be coming soon. So stay tuned guys, and thanks for tuning in.